active learning challenges the students to think creatively uh, about the material and to come away with a deeper understanding of it. And it works. So I've been teaching this neuropharmacology course for many years and uh, I taught it a number of times in the very traditional lecture format and I had figured out a way to examine the students uh, with challenging prelims that don't have factoid questions but have concept based questions and I've learned how to teach this course so that the grading is pretty much the same year after year. So in the five times that I taught it as a lecture course, uh, the mean grade for the class was 81 plus or minus 1.5 points standard deviation. So it's very, very tight. I, I'm good at having grades pretty much the same. I've flipped it three times now and the means in those three times were 86, 87, and 87. That is almost three standard deviations higher than before. The students are learning more than they learned before. They are more sophisticated than they were before. They are more concept-based than they were before. Uh, I challenged them at the end of the course to write a term paper uh, to solve an unsolved problem in neuropharmacology. This is a neuropharmacology course. And then they have to write an NIH-style grant proposal to solve that problem. The sophistication of these papers has gone up tremendously since I started using active learning in the classroom. Because in the classroom, they're having to do just that all the time. I'm posing a problem. They're having to come up with a creative hypothesis for how to solve that problem or how to explain a set of, of data which are, are rather difficult to understand. Um, so they get lots and lots of experience doing that and thinking creatively. So when they're finally challenged in the term paper, it's the same thing. They're familiar with that. They know how to do it. And, and so I found that the papers are much, much better, much more interesting for me to read. And the students are very proud of their papers. They take ownership of their papers. They said, this is my idea. I didn't read it anywhere. Nobody gave me this idea. It didn't come out of a textbook or a paper. It came out of my own mind. And I'm very proud of this. And uh, you can see the students you know, sense of self-worth go up as they realize, I can do this. I can think like a scientist. And the active learning, I think, really brings that out.